Rebounder, the sequel to Bounder, do you see? Yeah, this is an interesting take on the old sort of scrolly shooter thing. You're a tennis ball, obviously. And you have to time your bouncing between the platforms, otherwise you plummet to your death. Certain barriers can't be bounced over, most other things can. The exclamation marks are point bonuses, I think. The question marks are randomly give you or take away health. Those arrow things give you a big bounce. There's various weapon pickups as well. The parallax on this level is doing my eyes in because it's actually scrolling forwards as the screen goes backwards and makes my eyes water. Time to waggle furiously. I'm not sure what the point of the energy mechanic in is in this because half the time you'll just plummet to your death before you run out of energy anyway. But whatever. Oops, mistimed that quite heroically. Right, I'm going to shut up for a moment and let you listen to the uh, most anticlimactic boss battle known to man. That jaunty tune followed by the explosion cracks me up every single time. And that's the other interesting thing about Rebounder. You actually get to choose your path. At least the parallax on the vertical ones doesn't make my eyes water. Doesn't appear to have improved my aim anymore though. Now at this point the game kind of glitched out on me, because I landed on this barrier that I'm not meant to be able to land on at all and I ended up just stuck there getting shot at. And I have entirely the wrong weapon for this boss fight. Oh well. From the creator of Aqua Blaster, all the way back in issue 19, comes Daedalus, another shoot em up construction kit game. That appears to be pretty much just Aqua Blaster again. Anyway, enough of this. Let's look at something a bit more professional. Slayer! And for something with such a metal name, it's surprising this title music is actually a cover of the Human League song. <laughs> Blind Youth, to be precise. Anyway, your standard C64 horizontal scroller here. A few things uh, make it stand out for the crowd. Notably one, it is brutally difficult, and it has to be. There are... I spent very many attempts to get past this first level, and uh, after feeling very pleased with myself, realised there were only three in the entire game, having looked it up, uh, looking up a long play. This means that uh, the second level ramps things up even further. Yes, your standard pickups, drones that give you an extra hit every now and again. Standard mixture of enemies, turrets, ships, those flying snake things that always crop up in this kind of thing.
There we go. Giant snake thing, as is required by law. This is a smart bomb. Yes, this took me a lot of goes to get anywhere in. When you die, it sends you back a mile. Fortunately, the background collision is a little bit forgiving. And on to our first boss, which I kind of had to give up and look up how to kill. The um, You have to do pretty much everything in stages. I don't think you can go straight for the brain in the middle. So I'm very tentatively picking off his things from the outside inwards. They don't give you an indication that you're actually damaging them, which is why I spend a long time flailing around not knowing how to kill this guy at all. If you die, you get sent back a mile, and you have to do the boss without these diagonal laser things, which makes things even more difficult. So this entire run is going to be very tentative, because I don't want to die at all. Come on. There's not much of a window to get in between his shots and uh, get your own in. Finally, thank you. Yes, this is very, very much terra incognita now. These bubbles appear to be indestructible. Great! Yes, this is very much your bog-standard basic C64 horizontal scrolling shooter. It doesn't do anything particularly out of the ordinary, but for... I think this was actually a budget game, so it would only cost you a couple of quid. It's not bad. If pointlessly difficult, and pointlessly difficult because it has to be because it's so short. Gently. Whoop. Yeah. I wasn't joking about that human link thing, by the way. Finally, a couple of real oddities. I've no idea where they dug these up, but they're ancient. First of all, Blackjack, or Pontoon, or Vonseyun, depending on where you're from. Yes, this is... I'm no Pontoon expert, but I think I'll stick with that, actually. Hooray! I win. Yeah, I've no idea where they dug these up from. Um, this is actually written in BASIC, which is actually kind of impressive considering how terrible the C64's BASIC was. The other thing is slightly more interesting. Piano. I'll skip that for now. Another thing written in BASIC so it takes a while to get itself going. Yeah, this appears to be some very basic music sequencer program. You punch in notes and pauses and things, and it will play it back for you.
The uh, tune I'm currently entering it was given in a listing in the magazine. It turned out to be the music from Neighbours. But what of that classy introduction? Well, here it is. Thank you. 